What up guys, Carolina Jackpot coming at you. It is Sunday morning. That means it's April the 5th, 2020. Hope everybody's doing great. As you see, I'm out in our great outdoors and um, wearing my mask. Uh, not just because of the virus, but uh, I have allergies pretty bad around this time of year. I think everybody does. So I'm used to doing this every spring. Um, in fact, I've you know, over the years, I've developed specific ways to be able to do my favorite activities and still, and this doesn't limit me at all. Okay. Maybe it does just a bit. Uh, good old clear wild cherry water from uh, Walmart. Just want to talk to y'all for just a little bit. You don't hear make a spill. Uh, so it seems that um, I guess while a lot of uh, America is at home right now, stuck at home, uh, quarantining or whatever, uh, away from the virus, which that's good. You need to uh, follow the laws of your state and uh, you need to only go out when it's necessary, folks. I mean, you really do. Um, I worked yesterday and um, it's just amazing um, the number of people I saw out and about who really weren't buying things that I would consider uh, essential items to get through the day, week, month, or what have you. Uh, but it is what it is. A lot of the stores we work in sell things that are essential and non-essential. So you really can't limit someone's purchases until it's just absolutely mandated. Uh, here in the state of South Carolina, we uh, unfortunately have uh, probably the least progressive um, governor on the, uh, definitely the eastern seaboard, if not the entire United States of America. I mean, guys, it's just a complete joke. But uh, I'm not going to get up on that soapbox this morning. I want to talk some college football. I get into it. And um, <laughs> I found it hilarious uh, over the weekend. So apparently this thing has swept uh, the nation by storm on Netflix, this Tiger King series. Now, I'm going to sit here and tell you, and this is God's honest truth, I have not watched one second of this thing on netflix i saw some kind of little parody of it on facebook this morning just because i was researching th subjects from video here uh but i have not watched one stitch of it i, I don't know anything what it's about other more than there's some redneck guy with a uh a blonde billy ray cyrus mullet um <laughs> who uh well maybe it's, it's not that good of a mullet i'm sorry uh, is, is he tra trains tigers or, 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 or he houses tigers or something? Is he, is he from Oklahoma, maybe? And apparently he's a, a real big redneck and he's uh, drawn a lot of flack and, um, and and he's gotten a lot of fun made of him on the internet and it's really just gone blown up and gone viral huge the past couple of weeks. So I, I don't really know anything else about it. But uh, the... Uh, Clemson football coach, Dabo Sweeney, we all know Dabo, love him, great guy, right? Comes up with something, and uh, he posted it, it was on an ACC Twitter page, where I saw it at, that he said, guys, we've come up with a new acronym. The word TIGERS stands for, this is gonna end real soon. Yeah. Clever, clever, by Dabo. And I, I can guarantee you this, that there is not one meeting nor, uh, you know, a meeting of a, a group of players or, or, or what, however they're having to, uh, I know that they're, you're still able to, to meet in somewhat of a limited capacity uh, right now. There is no on the field activity, obviously, of course, but um, I guarantee you he doesn't get players and have them six feet apart. With they're doing their social distancing in, in a room here, and, and they holler out, this is going to end real soon, T-I-G. -E it, it just don't happen, okay? That's just some bullshit that he came up with. Now, I do ad admit that it's great that he's optimistic. It really is, okay? I take nothing away from that. It's just the way that he words it. It's just this, the being so campy and the, the overlying overtone of bullshit that comes with that whole 
tweet is just it's got it's what everybody's laughing at and what makes people continue to um no matter how much you win they're still laughing at you okay they're still laughing at you i'm still laughing at you uh i'm just amazed i'm just amazed I and mean, why can't you know you just come up with say we're following all the precautions we're uh, we're doing everything as safe as humanly possible and hopefully uh, this will end soon, or a cure for it will be found in the meantime. And just leave it at that, okay? Just leave it at that. It's boring, but uh, at least I can't really poke holes in it, right? So the Gamecock uh, offensive coordinator, Mike Bobo, put out a tweet. I guess it was late Friday, early yesterday. Not really sure. I got it as the uh, thumbnail on this uh, here particular video that um, it's official, folks. The real Tiger King has spoken. And people are just in an uproar. It is, it's, once upon a time, a couple of years ago, uh, college football uh, YouTuber, mastermind Uncle Lou, uh, came up with a, a little uh, phrase where he was talking about, no, it was actually uh, when he called a Tennessee Vols talk show. And uh, so the Tennessee Vol fans are like a bunch of wind-up toys, and the, the these guys who are doing the sports show are winding them up by talking about national championships and beating all, uh, beating Georgia and Florida and all this bull crap. And uh, so they're a bunch of wind-up toys, and they were they were pulling the crank on the wind-up toy. Well, uh, the Clemson fans are like a bunch of wind-up toys on Twitter. Please stop. Come here. Come here. Look at that. My pedal. Yeah. It's only five months old and his bark is extremely loud. And uh, this is going to be a good butt, pup, though. He's a good one. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> it's just amazing how upset these people get. I mean, they're like, there it goes. There it goes again. There's another one. Here's another one. They're putting up memes of Bozo the Clown, <laughs> which is funny because Dabo's face was first memed on the Bozo many years ago. But it's it's just, it's, I love it. I mean, uh, the, this is, and then you have Gamecock fans on Twitter too who are sitting here, delete this, delete this, coach. He should be fired for this. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, come on. The ones of y'all that are saying that, what a bunch of panty waist crybabies, okay? Get, a, get the stick out of your damn ass. I know that Bentley said never again, and they wouldn't let us stop hearing it, and they wouldn't shut up about it for two years. They finally shut up about it now since he's gone. Well, they may not have shut up about it yet. Um, you, you know, Todd Ellis did the cycling in, cycling out thing, which was great. Um, he, you know, he drew the ire of Tater fans everywhere. We, uh, we put the beat down on you and blah, 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 and all this crap. And, um, you know, it's, it's college football. It's a rivalry. It's sports. It's what's going to happen. And somebody is going to throw a shot out there every now and again. God knows uh, Dabo's thrown his shots in the past. Oh, but he can back them up because he's won natties. And not not saying he hadn't, okay? He has. He hadn't. Didn't win one this past year. Kind of got his ass kicked a little bit, but uh, that's not, not the point. Um, it's, uh, it's a rivalry. People are going to say and do things to uh, get under the skin of others, and uh, we might as well accept that. Everybody else is like, well, he'll be fired after one year anyway. You don't know that. He's bringing a new offense in, okay? He's um, he's putting in a fullback, and I'm excited about it. I like it. Uh, it's going to be a throwback to uh, 1980s, maybe smash mouth type football. Um, I've always said to win down here, you got to be able to do something different, and you got to be able to do it well. You're not going to out recruit the Taters. You're not going to out recruit Georgia. You're not going to out recruit Florida. Tennessee fans are not going out to recruit this because we finished 10th this year. Woo! Rock the top. But um, <laughs> you're not going to out-recruit these teams, but you can out-scheme them. 
you can out scheme them and uh, you can do something different better than some of these other teams you can make it difficult for defenses to stop it and I for one and I'm all for it okay this offense finished 105th last year a hundred and fucking fifth we finished okay the defense finished I think 54 55th something like that which is not a good number it's middle of the road but Everybody knows that that defensive number would have been up by at least 20 spots had that offense even had half a pulse. The biggest detriment to our defense this past year was not other teams' offenses. It was the inability of our, our freaking offense to stay on the field and uh, generate some first downs and continue some drives and uh, get into the red zone, score some freaking points, touchdowns, and win some damn games. That was the issue. Okay. It wasn't the play of the defense. We had some good players on defense that we've lost, but we've got some good ones coming back. Uh, I'm interested to see how Rick Sandage does this year. I'm interested, really interested to see how Zach Pickens does this year. Uh, Jamie Robinson, Rancindo Lewis, who was linebacker, a uh, kid from Florida that was hurt for most of last year. He played a little bit. He's going to be a redshirt sophomore. I'm interested to see how he plays. Uh, J.C. Horn, uh Defensive back, Cam Smith, young kid who's a highly touted player out of the state of South Carolina. See how these players develop and how they're going to do this year. Uh, so I don't have any qualms about the defense, and I think the offense is going to be much better. Maybe Tater fans are just a little bit uh, – maybe they don't like Mike Bobo. They may be just a little bit salty and bitter towards him because um, uh, a couple of years in the mid-'90s when he was quarterback down there at uh, UGA, they, uh, they kind of bitch-slapped you guys around a little bit. They kind of – they kind of uh, beat y'all a couple years in a row back here in 94 and 95. Of course, most Clemson fans wouldn't know that because um, you really don't know about anything before 2014. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Most of you don't, though. Um, and uh, last uh, game that he uh, coached as an uh, offensive coordinator against the Taters, uh, they kind of they kind of, uh, kind of of put a foot up your rear end a little bit, didn't they? Down, in, down there in Athens. That was a... Uh, that was a pretty good. Uh, that was a pretty good evening. I remember watching that one. I was pretty. I was pretty pleased with that. But then, but oh, well, that was just Dabo's fault because he didn't let Deshaun Watson play the whole game. Did you see how he threw that touchdown pass on the rope there in the first quarter? And they just yanked him. That was Dabo. There you go, give him Dabo. Dabo. I'm sorry. There you go, Mr. Acronym, Mr. T I G E R S. Anyway, guys, uh, this video just <laughs> went all over the place. Um, We've talked about everything from Gamecocks to Dabo to 1994 Georgia. Um, but I'm telling you, um, college football season. What do I think? I think it will still be played on some level, but I think it will be played on an interrupted level. Um, I could see a scenario where we only play conference games, um, which if we, that happened last year, the Gamecocks would have finished with uh, a 3-5 and five record which percentage-wise would have been better than what our overall record of 4-8 and eight was. So maybe that's something to look at. Um, actually, this year's uh, non-con schedule for the Gamecocks is considerably softer on paper, on paper, than uh, what last year's was. But then again, paper doesn't mean anything. UNC was supposed to be soft on paper. We lost to them. Um, and not making any excuses for that loss. They ended up being a pretty good team. Sam Howell ended up being a pretty damn good quarterback. Um, that being said, that's still not an excuse for that uh, pathetic loss uh, in Bank of America Stadium week one last year. I'm still mad about that. That still should not have happened. But I kind of look at this year's schedule. I kind of put East Carolina in that same boat. East Carolina was 4-8. and eight, four and eight but last year before they improved tremendously uh, played much more competitively uh under mike houston than they had the previous year when i know there were two and nine the previous year and they improved to four and eight uh, that's a team that's on the uh uptick they're um improving and um that one's not going to be easy i'm telling you gamecocks will win that game if it's played in columbia in week two but that's going to be a tough one um, with that being said, uh, I'm looking forward to college football this year. Um, all my videos that I do from here on out will be under the assumption that football will be played. As I said, I think it's going to be played on a uh, 
interrupted level somewhat, but I think we'll still play it. Um, I, I've seen stuff all over the board. Um, if we get up a vaccine, it could be, we could start practice by July. If we do this, this could happen. If we do this, this could happen. Kirk Herbstreet says, I would be very surprised to see college football return in 2020. Okay, well, that's, that's where I'm taking all my scientific and medical and everything else advice from is Kirk Herbstreet, okay, because he's obviously uh, a guru at that. Um, you know, it's a stick to stick to football, Kurt. Stick to stick to talking about Clemson and sticking your foot in your mouth. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna jump off here and uh, go on ahead and uh, be safe, uh, be well, uh, take care of your friends, family, loved ones. Abide by your local rules. Okay. If they tell you to stay inside, stay inside. If they tell you just to go out to work, go out to work. If they tell you just go out to buy food. Do that, okay? Listen to people who are smarter than you, and maybe this thing will end, and we'll all be better off for it, and we will all be a little bit more educated for it. But there's even when it's over, though, there's still no, uh, still there, there's really no silver lining. I mean, there's there's been a lot of life lost that shouldn't have been. And I know a lot of people say, well, most of it's old people, so it really doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how old they are. They deserve to uh, be able to die in peace as well. They really did. So it's just, it's just unfortunate. But stay safe, guys, and uh, I'll be seeing y'all again real soon. Appreciate it. Peace. And I'm out. Go Gamecock, Spurs up to my toes up. Go Mike Bobo, screw boom. I hope you lose your job at the end of the season. Go Cox. Woo! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh.